details tonight. A high speed chase that went halfway across the state of Florida. It started in the Tampa area in Hillsborough County and ended in Orange County. The suspect was speeding along I-4. And Fox 35's Hannah McKenzie is live tonight along the freeway. So Hannah, officers say the suspect is dangerous. Hey there, Luann and John. Yes, dangerous indeed. And we're told that he was driving upward of 100 miles per hour in a minivan. We're right coming up to actually where that crash took place right now. This is where that chase ended right here coming by on this median. You'll see it coming up in just a few minutes. So this suspect, this dangerous suspect, we're told, is now facing nine different charges. And as photojournalist Fox 35 uh, Javi in the car with me right now just pointed out he didn't have to go very far because we're also right next to the Orange County Jail. A chaotic scene playing out Tuesday on I-4. A gold Chrysler minivan seen in this FHP dash cam video swerving through traffic and crashing onto a raised concrete median just off the John Young Parkway exit. This video sent to us by a Fox 35 viewer showing state troopers surrounding that minivan. You can see the driver with his hands behind his back sitting on the ground. From above, Sky Fox showing the aftermath of this multi-county car chase, which spans from an incident the day before. The driver, 48-year-old Walter Medina, accused of holding a woman captive, assaulting her with a wooden baseball bat and a flathead screwdriver. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says the relentless physical abuse lasted for two and a half months. The victim sustaining broken ribs, puncture wounds, and extensive bruising. According to reports, Medina met her in Tampa Bay where she was panhandling. He provided her with food and drugs and threatened to kill her if she fled. She was eventually able to escape on Monday when Medina stopped at a drugstore. He was gone before deputies arrived. They obtained a warrant for his arrest and that warrant turning into this high-speed car chase and nine charges, including armed kidnapping, false imprisonment, and second-degree attempted murder. And according to the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, Medina has a history of kidnapping and aggravated assault. Again, this is live right here where that multi-county chase ended earlier today. Now, as for the victim, we are told that she was taken to hospital where she is receiving care for her injuries. Reporting live, Hannah McKenzie, Fox 35 News.